<laughs> I'm going to come back over this a little bit. Um, it's not going to be the same, but I'm just laughing at trying to do it because I don't know how to go back over. Um, uh, all right, to start in a similar place. Um, I want to maybe go on Twitch, but I want to read uh, some of... I'm reading Anti-Oedipus by uh, uh, Blues and Guitari. Um, right now, and, um, you know, mostly I want to, I want, I want some body doubling on reading. Um, it's a book I, I pause a lot on, um, you know, because I'm, I'm living my thinking more than, than doing it in the reading. I'm, like, dipping in, but also, like, it'd be, I think it'd be fun to, to read in a room, be able to pause a lot and just have a conversation instead. Like, I'm not trying to, like, push through this book at all. Um, but I am enjoying the way it's connecting with uh, a lot of things I think about, right? And at the same time, okay, so, you know, I've, like, tweeted about uh, Deleuze, um, and there's a, there's a Twitter bot, right, that um, picks up and retweets and likes any mentions, right? So I went and, like, followed it so I could see everything it was retweeting. And it's very funny, like, but, like, like it's fun seeing just the people that are like, I want nothing to do with this. And from a variety of points of view, right? Like, not, not just from the, like, uh, Jordan Peterson fan level of conversation of, like, this is, this is the problem with everything, but just, like, people from a variety of points of view just being like, hey, this is showing up in my life in a way I don't like. Um, you know, because I know, like, that's about so much, so of course it is, right? Uh, like, so many parts of the world are moving. Um, so, like, I would think about that in, I mean, I do think about that when I think about going on Twitch and reading this, of like, like, I'm not trying to take up space with something that people like, the <laughs> Um, and not, not in a self-denying way, just like in the way I like to move. I like to know how, how I'm sitting and I can like move it differently, sit it differently. Right. I can keep reading in private and, and do something else when I'm hanging out. Like, um, but I don't actually like know that, like, like I'm just hearing people. I don't know. I don't know how this sits in the world. Um, and that brings me back to this one idea I've been pulling from my reading, which is um, desire and how for a um, for a self let's let's say that because I'll say like for a self who sees themselves in this moment having a past and having a future and and being composed in the present right and here in the present. Um, right, like, then has a past holding of desire, right, you know, in, in stories that I want to tell, but I don't want to get into right now, like, you know, that's held in, in our bodies, in the body of the world, like, our past, um, and in the, uh, you know, in the holding of desire in the future, right, that's our projections, that's our stories. Excuse me. Like being a self, like we have all this structure, all this that we're used to thinking, and like and whatever metaphysics you want to put on it, I think like like you can see the self like working this way. Right? And so you have this like chain of desire, your experience of desire, your projection of desire and your history of desire, right? And, and yourself, it, that's available to yourself and to yourself alone, right? Like, like people, other people don't have access to that chain. They have access to like the fruits of that chain, the, the effects of that, you know, in the world, but they don't, in the body of the world, right? In the history, but like, that chain is yours, their chain is theirs. But like desire, you have this desire, right? And like, 
just in, in setting it up that way, it's like pretty easy to see, like, obviously your desire isn't what's <laughs> driving the universe or, and it's not even like, like desire is a thing that like, there's not a story here where desire is like, this is what should be happening in the universe. This is like, if you're trying to figure out what to do, like, you know, what you need to do is figure out exactly what you desire and, and how to perfectly, um, let go and project towards that at the same time. And like, because desire is it, that's it. There's not like the definition doesn't do that, but like what is happening is that you have this heterogeneous chain always in your pocket as you travel through your life. Right. And it's constantly changing. It's constantly deconstructed, right. Deterritorialized and re-territorialized as your life shifts around you. And you have to like, like, do these massive reprojection projects, right? Like, um, depending on where you grow up and whatever, like your desire is channeled into social constructs and everything. So like, it's not even a fixed thing. It's just that it's this chain that you have continual access to in your life and you are able to both one, use it as a, as a divination tool, right? Because it's always handy. So you always have some dice to throw, right? You can, like, when you start to realize that what you want doesn't matter, then you can say, oh, that's just me throwing dice in the situation. It's not me doing the right thing. It's me not knowing what the right thing to do is and throwing dice. What are the dice I have in my pocket? My fucking feelings, right? Like, let me listen to them when I'm not, like, I don't know why I'm doing what I'm doing, right? And, uh, you know... So like that's available both as a divination tool, but also like in that way of like, um, okay, I'm really trying to like surface this thing of like puns being like the, you know, kind of a me molecular um, structure. Uh, you know, if you want to scale revolution in and out fractally, right, at the molecular level, it looks like a pun. <laughs> uh, and um, as opposed to an atom, maybe. Um, and desire, in having access, it's like having rope in your backpack, desire, right? When you get stuck, you still got that rope in your backpack and it's not gonna get you out of everything, right? But <laughs> like, and it's not gonna like, it's not gonna get you out of everything. And obviously that's fine. You should still have rope in your backpack because it, it does a lot, right? But also that doesn't make it like the be all end all, right? It's just a rope in your backpack. It's still about you living your life. It's not about like identifying your desire and then being on that ride, right? So like, I don't know. I want to get on Twitch and, and read and talk.